Alright, standing here at the drill press station, and I have drawers in now, five of them. So now I'm going to go ahead and put the drawer fronts on. I have some of them already pre-cut. I'm just going to space them out equally an eighth inch from there to here, left to right. Okay, so back here I got some of the rear of the table built. I'm building it, I'm filling it in. Um, this piece, so far, piece of removal. Did a couple little notches on the bolts here. And it was sitting flat. Uh, I'm still figuring out how wide I want to make this trough reveal here. And whatever I do back to here is going to... I'm going to duplicate it over here on this side so it's even. Um, right now, no dust or debris can get back here. If I try to sweep it, it'll just bounce off the wall and fall back. So I need a minimum of at least of three inches. Um, this is where the back of the drawers are. So that's ideal. But I want to be able to extend it a little bit further so I could still keep some other machinery type stuff here. And I have these drawer fronts in. Let's take a look over here at the drawer fronts. Yeah, they're in. So not a big deal. I have one more drawer to build here. Um, I do have a body of one sitting over here that I'll probably just cut up and use that. And so the way I go, it's coming out pretty good. I'm also going to, this is going to be going over here, so this will help support the table so it'll never bow and give me an extra little bit of space to store. I'm going to fill this hole in with, um, of course, white melamine and, and do a little cutout for this so this will protrude out past it. Yeah, I'm liking it so far. I gotta go buy a shot back. That'll stay in here and um, get enough hose. I don't know, I probably at least need 20 feet of hose. It'll come out back here and flex around. I want to be able to hook up the hose to um, the drill press, like read alarm saw. Whatever I use, I want the hose to hook up to. Okay, in case anybody's wondering how I make the drawers, I just use a um, quarter inch for the um, finished top, finished milling, and I use half inch rails, the styles. That's what you want to call it for the drawers. Um, well, the top's finished, some edge banding, and I just do red ones, like, the, like so. Staple them down along the back. Um, piece here, I'll shoot it on, and then I'll put the back piece on. In this case, I have actually have it a little, I have this going back a little more. My hinges are going to go past here like this, the sides, and so that way it's going to pull forward more because I have such a big overhang on the countertop. Well, I guess I should have been paying attention. I should have attached this back piece first. I should have done my notch here so I could get past the column. But now I'm going to just cut this and I'll probably just leave it open. Something will figure it out. But what I should have done is I should have cut this notch first and then cut this around here. Had a couple nice pieces and filled this in because I don't have any more of this half inch stuff. Alright, I got the drawer in. It is a pretty tight fit. This back portion, when you come down the sides and it lowers down, it actually sits on the saw. So, I mean, on the saw. It actually sits on the drill press itself. Right there. Hear that? It throws. So it doesn't get any tighter than that. Alright, here's what I came up with. I put a little piece back here 
So that way when I pull it forward and I have the um, three inch overhang on the countertop, this will just be all open as if it had um, full extension sides. And this will just be dead. All right, I'm happy with the way the drawer fronts are coming out. I think they're looking pretty good. Now I'm over here with the radial arm saw, I'm enclosing the whole base here. And so I'm gonna put one more brace right here, and then this will be a little cubby as well as this. This one's gonna be able to go back all the way to the wall for little pieces that I pre-cut. This one over here, I um, blocked it off, so I'll have a um, free area with dust that could build up and won't get inside here. And it's blocked off all back here too. It's gonna to be, I'm gonna screw it down right now. Well, now I'm working on the grinder. So I did a little mock-up. Um, this is kind of where I want it to be. Well, this is exactly where I want it to be, if, where to clear the radial arm saw. Um, I'm not really gonna turn it this way to do any cuts or anything like that. It's just gonna be for cross cuts. But as far as the grinder goes, I have this here. Well, I put it on these sides, so it'll actually slide out if I wanted to. I could clear the door and do some grinding in the doorway here. Go as far as I want if I have something. But I, the way I did it here, I put some slides on edge and it's really weak. Um, you know, that's just the weight of itself right here. So if I was to put some weight on it and actually try to use this machine like this, um, it'll probably break, it won't last. So I'm gonna change it up. Since this is just a mock-up, here's a stand that I have. Um, this is going away, but you can see the radial arm saw. I have the table done, and you can see the trough back here. It's um, two and a half inches. I match the side, came around this little post thing, and I got this thing filling this thing in. So this is gonna be good to hold all the dust. Kit. Another box. Another box. Okay, it's a new blade guard. It's like Christmas. Wow, this thing is heavy duty. Craftsman radial arm saw, owner's manual, guard kit. All right, so it looks like I have a piece of something, a new handle to replace that original handle. And if you can see that, right. came with a new pull handle. And it has this lever right here that you pull. And what that must do, it's got to pull on this, the dust guard, it's got to pull on this to bring this up. Look at that. Yeah, it's kind of nice looking. This will probably help control a lot of the sawdust too. If I can put a vacuum right here, however it goes, and use this. So then this handle goes here, something like this, and as you pull up on it, it pulls this up. Ooh, huh?